Over the past few years, mountain athletes like Eric and Janelle have been innovating a new approach to their sport. An advanced skill set and rapid progression in fitness is allowing them to go up mountains and down mountains really fast. This is pretty cool. Fast enough that a route that used to take two to three days now takes one day. There's just one slight problem. Their footwear isn't keeping pace. The inspiration for Arcteryx gear has always been to enable athletes in our local mountains. For Eric, that's moving at record speed up the Tantalus Range. The best way to experience the range is to cross the whole thing and do as much as you can in a push. That's my niche of the sport, is to be able to go climb as many routes, or take as many peaks, and then get back down to town uh, for a burger. A fast and light day going up the Tantalus involves a bunch of different activities, and athletes would previously need different footwear to do all these things well. When in the Alpine, my shoes are my lifeline. We need shoes that can get wet and they dry out fast, but they're still really protective. You need to have a really good running shoe, but yet you didn't have a good climbing shoe. They have to have cushioning, but not so much that you can't climb well. It is a tough design challenge for sure. So Eric goes to Arcteryx to solve the design puzzle of creating one shoe that can withstand a fast day up the Tantalus. But the first team member Eric contacts isn't a designer. It's his friend Adam, a fellow athlete, so I have two roles. I'm an Arcteryx athlete, but I'm also an athlete insight and product testing specialist. What my job entails is going and playing in the mountains with the athletes and then coming back and writing reports about it. I was involved in product testing from the really, really early days. And finally, after 17 years and bugging designers, they had enough and they're like, okay, you come and try to do this if you think it's so easy. So you gave so much product feedback, they just created a role for you? Yeah, pretty much. Adam's role here is giving us such an advantage. He has his own language about how he approaches, what he does, missions, things that I'm learning about. This is Pam and Josh. They find solutions to the problems brought to them by Adam. Since having Adam join the team in the office full time, at the end of the day, he'll often be like, I'm tired. And I'm like, you've run ultra marathons and it's hard for you to make it through a day of meetings. It's pretty funny to me. To solve Eric's problem of needing a climb shoe that can move fast through the rugged Tantalus terrain, the team began to work on the Vertex Alpine, which took a long time to make. In a shoe like Vertex Alpine, there's probably like one, two, three, four, five, like ten of those. 30 to 40 pieces. But what's important is we get to obsess over each and every component and how they're impacting the overall performance of the product. Pam and Josh have worked for decades on footwear for elite athletes. However, designing footwear for athletes like Eric to go fast up mountains poses a whole new set of challenges. We use the spring on the toe to help him push in and push up the rock. So we're really forcing the shoe to go with his body as he's going up and or down on the mountain. What about needing traction to climb in non-traditional climbing shoes? The team paired meticulously designed lugs with a compound that's traditionally used on climbing rubber. The toe cap is offset off to the medial side of the shoe, giving them that grip, that traction off of the rock to propel themselves further without adding weight. Then there's the small matter of... The foot morphology changes over time. Your foot swells up and then contrast down. So we designed this fully fashioned flat knit booty to precisely contour to the foot. It's a really a 360 fit that keeps debris away. Then to make it an Arcteryx shoe, it has to contain the Arcteryx design DNA. Quick history lesson, Josh. The Arcteryx design DNA relies on lamination to eliminate seams and stitching to create a sleek but functional design which is a new challenge for footwear that has to grapple with mountain terrain. The environments that the athletes are in are incredibly severe, and so making sure that the lamination can hold up to that environment is critical to their performance and safety. After thousands of field testing hours, hundreds of prototypes, and so much iteration that the release was pushed, the Vertex Alpine is out in the mountains enabling Eric and Janelle to transform more three-day objectives into one-day objectives. I love seeing the highest expression of activity in sport, and I don't want gear to be holding them back. If you can trust the footwear, you can do more. It's linking up roots, it's going further, 
I think we're getting faster. I think we're getting braver. We're always trying to see what's possible. So our team in here will carry on keeping pace with the team out there. And whatever their next audacious goals might be, we'll be there to help bring them to life. Thank you.